All right, short video. I, as you guys know, I'm designing this emergency power pack. And in designing it, I want to make sure that it's safe. Okay, here we go. Let me clear that up. And in order to keep this safe, right, right now I'm testing to see how much we can load these batteries, right? These are kind of unknown. They're re reclaimed batteries. We tested them so we know the capacity, but we don't know how much power they can push out. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm load testing it. This thing is pulling about 700 watts off of this battery pack, about 30 amps, right? So here I am monitoring the voltage of each one of the seven groups of cells right to make sure that none of them are weak and then they will go right and so i was thinking of using uh this guy right here right this is a thing that measures voltage for rc batteries and then you can set the voltage at which you want the uh alarm a very loud alarm as you heard it oh my god here it is again right to go off right and so that's why i would like i would like it and i wanted to like just you know stick it right here inside and then leave it in there and whenever you hear that alarm then there's something wrong right you can set the minimum voltage the problem is that these are cheap chinese uh electronics and as you can see here none of these batteries are hitting the threshold i set this threshold down to 2.7 the way you set it up is you hold it let me just show you all right let's see here Okay, here we go. 2.7, 2.8, 2 2.9, 3 volts, 310, all right, 3.5, 3.6, all the way to 3.8. Or you can set it to off, but we don't want to set it off because we actually, I'm looking to use that feature, right? So I'd want to set it at 2.7 because that's, that's when the battery's low. And if it hits that low, then I wanted to go off. So it's set to 2.7 volts. If it hits 2.7 volts, then it'll it'll start the alarm, right? And I did this with this one. It's not, you know, I'm ruling out that it's one bad unit. See, here we go. The alarm is going off. That means one cell, let's turn it off. One cell must be 2.7. Oh no, none of the cells are 2.7. In fact, let's look at what this thing is reporting. Uh, three, 3.57. 4, 2.9, 5, 4.2. Let's see what 5 is doing over here. 5, it's right there at like 3.5. Why is this reporting wrong? And like I said, it's not just that one little unit. I've tested uh, this one. Uh, I have a full box of those. Oh my God, here it goes again. I have a full box of these. I guess I could go through all of them until I find one that is not bad, but I don't, I, it, maybe it's a bad, it's a design flaw. Maybe it's just a batch thing. Anyways, that's what I'm doing here. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna recommend these guys, or maybe I'm gonna buy a few more from different sources just to make sure that these actually work. I thought these work. I mean, people use them, the RC thing all the time. Uh, maybe they're flying their drones and they're landing their drones way early because they're hearing that alarm, even though they're, none of their cells actually hit the low threshold. But that's what's happening here. Here is the latest one. Look at that. There's not a lot of heat as there shouldn't be. It's only one C. The BMS are there. You know, these the BMS will protect these cells no matter what, right? But I just needed, I just want to put something in here so that you can open this up and look at the health of your batteries right uh see something like this one will just toggle through the voltages uh maybe i'll just use these but with the alarm off and then it'll just a monitor you know and uh, of course why you might ask why i'm not just using this because this seems to be pretty good and reliable discontinued you know this is a good product that they used to make discontinued now the the only thing that's in the market is bigger and it's way more expensive. It's like 30 bucks just for a little thing like this, right? So I don't know if I want to recommend that. And you said, I'm trying to keep the 
overall price of this project here low. Okay, let's just connect that thing. In fact, let's see if it works. Let's let's turn it off. Let's see if that will work. Off. Because maybe that's that doesn't even work, right? Um, yeah, I'm trying to keep this as low price as possible and see easy to build as possible. Uh, only a few holes here, one, two, three, four, five, and then these two with screws. This is the little solar charge control that we're gonna check right now to see, to charge it, All right? Uh, this will stick on there and it'll close on there, but let me show you the top. That's a uh, built-in 300 watt power inverter that is 12 and 24 volts so that's why i put it in there so it's got 300 watts of ac and then it's got the usbs there and then it's got a pass through but of course that pass through is 24 so if you have other devices that use 24 you can totally use it if not you can't just plug a 12 volt in there it'll fry it right so anyways this is a quick update on this latest project that i'm building uh it takes a bit of time to like go through and test every component and stuff then i gotta draw the schematic luckily on this one the schematic is very very simple and then uh the final video where i show you step by step how to build it and uh provide you with all the parts and all the costs and all this other stuff all right till then see you guys later bye Thank you.